from divine sistar of the light devyani sing from isis channelings full moon august first guided by divine will and mother grandmother wound this is a loaded full moon as it is in serious blue ray season of destructive creation destruction precedes new creation and it is also the last full moon before venus kazemi on august 13th where venus inanna officially leaves behind the capricorn metagoddess archetype and moves into the leo metagoddess archetype in other words major karmic cycles are going to crash and burn especially those where our personal will and path is at divergence with the soul lessons destiny and fate has mapped out for you as your soul's blueprint of self-mastery liberation and enlightenment that is aligning personal will with divine will courtesy the blue ray frequency the signature of the blue ray lion's gate portal also means these karmic endings could be rather sudden and earth-shattering in appearance even though they may have been a long time coming as the capricorn wise woman cycle finally closes these karmic cycles and lessons could have an underlying tone of the shadow grandmother mother aspects that is where are you not fully owning your power and wisdom and instead playing the victimhood card to gain recognition sympathy attention and gaining power control over in a passive aggressive fashion which maligns the perceived oppressor and glorifies the victim the capricorn wise woman energy not gender is the matriarch because of her insights foresights wisdom which she uses to steer the upliftment of the entire community and not for personal glory the shadow aspect here lies in power over tactics for self-glorification while simultaneously playing the victim card the other aspect at play is the mother wound a fundamental abandonment wound carried by many whereby they did not receive the protection nurturing wise counsel encouragement and unconditional love that should have rightfully been theirs or had to play mother to their own mothers because the mother primary caregiver was operating out of victimhood and shadow feminine mentality of damsel in distress needing protection envy jealousy backstabbing and other passive aggressive behavior the rising of the divine feminine frequencies have aided us in releasing much hurt and disconnect arising from this wound as we heal and self-mother ourselves into self-love self-worth acceptance creativity and abundance out of the manipulative and attention-seeking maiden into the nurturing mother who supports and nurtures not only herself but also her family and community in relationship dynamics these karmic influences put the spotlight on where the relationship has fallen short in providing one with love support and nurturing emotional physical mental and spiritual for karmic relationships by definition withhold these very aspects so that individual's heart is cracked open and they are forced to move into self-love self-mothering and shift their focus from selfish self-serving mentality in a relationship to focusing on what they can add bring to the relationship that is they begin to act from a place of love filled abundance rather than love deprived scarcity and it is then and only then can one move out of karmic relationships and step into soul mate partnerships and not a moment earlier the lessons here are recognizing self-worth and moving into self-love sovereignty independence and abundance of the heart and soul by taking the reins of one's life in one's own hands courageously facing obstacles and finding practical workable solutions instead of playing the blame game and manipulative self-serving agendas and taking full self-responsibility and accountability of one's life path forgiveness is also on the cards to give full closure to the mother wounds so that you may move into the next cycle with the light heart 
and since it is serious Leo season, these lessons are meant to move you into alignment with your highest heart-centered passion, joy, and exuberance as you take leadership and ownership of your own inner kingdom with courage, accountability, and responsibility. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. Sake na. From isischannelings.wordpress.com.